Yo, it's a very hard to concentrate and do makeup. Arnav is gonna come out, but we will see. Welcome to my first IGTV video. I'm gonna call it. Anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but um, it's gonna be called something. I'll get the name one day. So I've asked um, a lot of people to like ask me what I should speak about or what they would like to hear me speak about. Ooh, my pom pom. What they would like to hear me speak about. And most of the questions I've gotten were relationship based questions. So today's today's vibes is face beat and relationships. So um one of the questions that were asked were do you go after looks or personality? <laughs> now a lot of people would say they go after personality and whatever but um I feel like a lot of them are lying also. Because you don't see, let's be honest, you don't see a person's personality through their clothes or through their whatever. Obviously, I'm attracted to looks first. Like, it's a normal thing. But, um, I won't necessarily go for someone with looks and no personality. Like, you gotta be, you gotta be fun. Like, you gotta laugh. You gotta make jokes and stuff. And a lot of people lack that. The second question, I have like a lot, but I'm not gonna finish all of it, obviously. Because <laughs> who has time for that? Not me. The second question was, have you ever been used in a relationship? I feel like everybody has been used in a relationship. But yes, personally, I have. I feel like I have. Um, not for like money or anything. Just for like wasting a person's time is also a way of using somebody. I guess it all depends on how you see it or how you... Um, perceive it to be i guess another question was do you think we have only one soulmate or many soulmates now i've spoken to this about my friend um, to my friends and we had this conversation as well i feel like you have more than one soulmate um not in a way that you must now pick and choose i just feel like you you meet a lot of people throughout your life i mean like you live in a very big world it's very hard for you to believe very hard for me to believe that you have one person you were supposed to be with i feel like you do have, you do meet like a lot of people along the way but it all depends on where you are at in that situation next question how do you notice red flags and red flags in general? Ooh, I like this topic. I like this topic. And I know people expect red flags to be like very obvious stuff also. But actually red flags can be like small stuff, guys. Like small stuff. I feel like people do see red flags. But they just like because they like the person. They're like, mm -mm, that's a red flag. He said he's busy. Even though he posted on his story three minutes ago, he will reply, red flag, poop, and we just dodge it. And another red flag comes and he's like, um, yeah, he, he can't reply. He said his phone died, but he slept for 15 hours. <laughs> poop, red flag, you just dodged it. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody notices red flags, but they just don't want to notice it, you understand? Because they like the person so much and whatever. And then they just dodge all the red flags. If you are dating someone, you are newly dating and whatever. And um, <laughs> hydrates us. Mm -mm. Dating like you just started dating. You're dating for like a month or whatever. But you barely get to see the person. Like they aren't making much effort to see you to be with you. Would always be like, I'm busy doing this. So I'm busy with that. I'm busy with the boys. We're going with the boys. Going with the girls. Whatever. And they're just not replying to you. That would also be like a red flag to me. Like. Personally, I would feel like that's a red flag because when you're in a relationship, making time for the person is like crucial. It's important. Ah, conceal the girl. Conceal don't feel the little show. Next question is hoeing an option. <laughs> Ooh, is hoeing an option? Someone else is hoeing an option. I feel like if you are in a relationship, hoeing is definitely not an option if you are in a relationship. But outside of a relationship, like what you do with your single self, you being single and you being in a relation in a relate in a, in a, in a, in a, in a. Let me get my words. 
and what you do when you are in a relationship are two very different things. You can't go into a relationship with a hoeing spirit, you know, going there with a hoeing spirit and want to be in a relationship with someone and that person cannot have anyone but you out here with John, Paul, Dick and Harry, whoever else is there. So, in a relationship, no. If you are not <laughs> in a relationship, it's obviously like a different situation. You understand? So, if you are in a relationship and you want to be a hoe, don't do it. Do not do it. Rather leave the person and be a hoe than being with that person and being a hoe. But if you are single, doing hoeing things, go for it. Do it. Just wear condoms and see a doctor. How do you know if the love is over or if it's just a bad day? <laughs> Guys, you sound hurt. You all sound hurt. Gonna cut the crease real quick. Cut. Now... Being, okay, as a female, I don't think that the love can be over, per se. Like, if a girl really loves you, she won't stop loving you like like that. She won't stop loving you like lo loving. She won't stop loving you. <laughs> Girls, when they love someone, they basically, like that person becomes a part of them. So they pick up on your slangs, they want to wear your hoodies, they want to, like such stuff, you know, you understand? But um, the love won't go away. Because if a girl loves someone and they argue, and you guys already didn't speak for a day, it's already killing her. Like, she's already annoyed because you didn't talk to her. You didn't try to come in. You didn't, like, try to do anything. But if a girl likes you and you guys have an argument, she can cut you off. Boom. Bye-bye. Like, if she likes you. So... It kind of depends on whether she likes you or love you. And then you will know, like, what happens. So if it's a bad day and she loves you, she will text you. But she'll be mad, but she'll text you. If she doesn't love you and she likes you. That, on the other hand, is a different situation. If she doesn't love you, but she likes you. Then basically, it doesn't matter to her whether you guys speak or not. Might as well draw a clown face on your face because that's what you're making yourself look like. That's what you are doing. And I'm saying, speaking from experience, I'm not trying to test anybody or anything. If you feel offended, I'm very sorry. My hair look big. <laughs> I look big as well. Anyway, I don't know, y'all. That's hectic, I guess. I mean, I think being in a relationship on its own is, is like a lot of work from both people. Like, don't be in a relationship if you're not ready to commit. If you're not ready to commit in a relationship, do not be in one, please. You are tiring out people. You are tiring out your partner. You are just not being the best person on earth right now. So don't do it. If you're not ready, don't do it. Just dodge it. Say no, thank you. I'm glad that you like me, but I'm not ready to do it. Simple. It's not that hard, honestly. But yeah, we move. We we cut and That's all the questions I've taken. Because... The rest of it is like more personal questions, I think, I'd like to say. So, yeah, if you have any questions you want to say, anything you want to drop, any unpopular opinions, any, anything, any topics, anything you want me to do, comment it or DM me and then I will get to it. Get into it. Like, bye.